Shalom. This is Ray Bash's Torah Thoughts for Kids, and this is Parasha number 9, Vaya Shev, and he dwelt, taken from Genesis 37 verse 1 all the way to chapter 40 verse 23. Genesis 37 28 says, Then there passed by Midianite merchants, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit, and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for twenty pieces of silver, and they brought Joseph into Egypt. Genesis 45, 5 through 7 says, And now do not be distressed, and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here, because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. For two years now there has been famine in the land, and for the next five years there will be no plowing and reaping. But God sent me ahead of you to preserve for you a remnant on earth, and to save your lives by a great deliverance. Once, Avi was walking home from school, but when he passed the old abandoned storefront on his way home, some neighborhood boys were spraying the walls with spray paint. They saw him, and they jumped out and began teasing him and calling him names as they pushed him around. The boys had cans of spray paint in their hands, and they sprayed Avi's clothes with it. That night, Mr. O'Malley called Avi's house, telling his parents that he was at his property and the old abandoned storefront with the police. Avi was scared. He thought that he would be blamed for the graffiti on the walls. As Avi and his parents arrived at the old abandoned storefront owned by Mr. O'Malley, they saw Mr. O'Malley, the police officer, and the boys who attacked him. As they stepped out of the car, the police officer said, Avi, we have several witnesses that say that you were here with these boys yesterday. Avi got a sick feeling in the pit of his stomach. He thought for sure he was in trouble. We know that you had nothing to do with the graffiti, the police officer continued. Mr. O'Malley said, We know it was these boys who spray-painted my walls, and we know they roughed you up and ruined your clothes, so we'll make sure that these boys pay for a new outfit for you. Then the police officer spoke up. Avi, these boys have been in trouble many times before, but since you were the victim, we will let you decide what should be done with them. They could, one, be sent to juvenile detention center for boys, Two, be put on probation and do community service for six months, or let him go. Avi could see that the boys were terrified what he might decide. Part of him wanted to really have these boys pay for what they did to him. But Avi remembered the story of Joseph, how his brothers sold him into Egypt, and yet, when it was all said and done, he ended up becoming second in command of Egypt and was powerful enough to get his brothers back for what they did to him, but instead, Joseph forgave them. But Avi also remembered the Torah, that the Torah demands justice. So Avi spoke up. How about they clean up Mr. O'Malley's property and then be let go? You know, have the punishment fit the crime. Mr. O'Malley and the police officer thought it was a good idea. Just as Avi and his parents were about to get into the car, one of the boys spoke up. Hey, why didn't you decide to send us off to Juvie Hall? Because I forgive you, Avi replied. The boys looked at each other and began to apologize to Avi, and one of them even shook his hand and said, Thanks. Shabbat Shalom. Shavuot Tov. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the like button as well as the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and the notification bell that'll let you know every time I make a new video. And don't forget to share this with a friend. Also, visit our website at abrahamsdescendants.com. Thanks. Shalom.